Hello. This week started not here, but up there somewhere. And that would be Booth Bay Harbor in Maine. The beautiful state of Maine. It's easy to take Maine for granted, actually, because there are many residents in Maine. But man, the place is really beautiful. Anyway, this is actually the second time I've been to Booth Bay Harbor, Maine for the schooner Ernestina Morrissey, which has a long history from fishing the North Atlantic to uh, Arctic exploration to uh, bringing immigrants from Cape Verde. And then it was offered as a gift back to the United States. And it's been, New Bedford has been its home since the late 70s, I believe. And it deteriorated and in 2008, they did some repairs to it, but it just wasn't enough. So for the last year, it went back to Booth Bay Harbor uh, shipyard in Maine, and they've been doing a full restoration. And as you can see from the photographs, we're talking, full rebuild basically um and i was there on monday and i spent the entire day photographing these guys these shipwrights and i think the biggest advice again is be there with a purpose right so i mean why would they let you in on the shipyard it, obviously i'm a newspaper photographer so yeah okay but they also i i understood a little bit of what the ernestina means to our community so i think that relays um, a confidence that I have in, in my desire to be there and document this historical moment. Because the simple truth is the Ernestina has not been shipworthy now for a long time. So the thing has been docked um, to State Pier and up until this moment, when it should be ready sometime next year, when it will be again shipworthy. So seaworthy, seaworthy, that's what I meant. It can be seaworthy so you can use it as a training ship and and so on, and it, it's a real beautiful part of New Bedford's history. And so there you go, you can see these guys working on it. Uh, man, I love the smell of sawdust. Did I ever say that before? It's really cool, it was a cold day actually, it was kind of like foggy and so on. But um, it was really cool to have the opportunity to go back and, and see um, a ship, uh, a schooner like the Ernestina, like down to its bare skeleton. It just reminded me like of a, a, a beached whale that was kind of like decomposed and now it's coming back to life again. Um, so on Tuesday, uh, walking around and I found uh, guys working on an old building and I thought there was like a parallel between the Ernestina and this particular photograph, which is again an old building that's been revitalized and brought back to life. It's been abandoned for quite a while. It's on Union Street. And the Waterfront um, Historic League uh, is bringing it back to life as a co cooperative center for artists and so forth. So I think, I mean, but how do I end up on the rafters? I don't know. I just look around and saw a ladder, a ladder and I climbed. Um, yesterday, um, I had gone to do a talk at the Nativity Prep School. Um, they had asked me to do the morning talk. So they have a guest speaker once in a while, and I was their guest speaker. And for whatever reason, I mean, I do a lot of these little talks, but I never bring my cameras with me. And I brought my cameras. I have no idea why. Maybe, maybe I wanted the kids to see what real cameras look like, not their cell phones. <laughs> so I brought the cameras, and then sure enough, these kids are all playing basketball before school starts. And there was a catwalk up there, like a, a balcony. So I just walk up, and it makes for a real dramatic picture. But getting that moment that that has a story is really what it's all about you can see the look on this boy's face relative to this one and this guy is totally intense you can't see that he's the shortest kid in that school and man that boy is committed to getting that basket right interesting ang angles interesting perspectives make for interesting photographs and as a, a photographer that is published in basically uh, recycled paper you only have a few seconds to impress someone with a photograph um, and that comes with things like this. So, check it out. Let's see what I get next week.